brightest high school students before they head off to college. Starting us off is a young lady who one day hopes to have her name up in lights. And I am beautiful. Whether you want me or not, whether you turn to look at my grace or at my feet. It is a busy time for 17-year-old Emma Willard student Grace McCarthy. There are rehearsals for the upcoming poetry slam, high school graduation, and she'll soon be going off to her number one choice of colleges. I committed to um, Carnegie Mellon University for their directing program at their drama school. Juggling important issues doesn't frustrate Grace because most of her life she has aspired to do difficult but stimulating things. Listen to her pitch to get into Emma Willard. I just came to the school and I was like, I should come here for all these reasons. Your school's amazing and I'm amazing. And all this stuff, like being really confident with myself and it worked. Dyslexia challenges Grace as well, but she embraces it by stepping up her game. The academics were so hard and the expectations were so high. It made me set higher expectations for myself. In March, she accepted another big challenge after being chosen as the director of a play at the Schenectady Light Opera Company. That's right, a 17-year-old directing adults in a professional theatrical performance. I was so happy because it's just such an honor. And there are all these adults trying to impress me to get me to put them in my show. And that was such a surreal experience for me. The directing wasn't daunting because she honed her chops while in middle and high school. I um, rented lights for it. I got costumes. I made a set. I... Um, had sound equipment. As Grace prepares to head off to college, she is also looking ahead to the future and hoping one day to see her name up in life as the director of a Broadway show. I think that it's kind of amazing that like you're putting an audience in another world and I think that's awesome. It's like, like you're the reason that they're laughing or smiling or crying. And next week's best and brightest comes from Hoosick Falls High School. Well, a botched execution leads.